Hello darlings, welcome to another episode of Curries and Stories. Uh, today I'm going to make a chicken madras curry. Now, chicken madras, you're saying, hmm, what is that? Well, it's a good old favourite in our British restaurants back at home. So let's crack on. Hob on. And of course, we have to start with ghee. So this is a two-step dish. We're going to make a base gravy separately, and then we're going to cook the chicken separately, and then we're going to combine the two. Just bear with me. Now, I'm going to put in my onions. I've got two onions here. Let them go in. So my onions are going to start softening, and into that, I'm going to add my other vegetables. Vegetables, you say? Yes! Carrots go in, red pepper. So let that start breaking down a little bit. We're not going to brown it, we're just going to soften everything. So this base you can use for any curry, non-veg or vegetarian. It will keep really well in the fridge. Or you can make a batch of it and freeze it and keep it for, you know, you're rushing back from work. You've got a curry sauce already made. Now I'm going to add my two tomatoes. You can see that this is all roughly chopped. Don't worry that, oh, it's like oh, too chunky. Watch and learn. Now I've got some garlic. Just going to roughly chop it in. Three or four cloves. And some ginger. Again, a rough chop and some cabbage. If you don't have cabbage, you can leave it out. But the other ingredients are a must. Right, this just needs to break down, which it will. So, my veggies have broken down. They've got some color, sizzling away. This will take you guys about 20 minutes. Right. Now, into this, I'm going to add a little bit of turmeric, about a pinch, a teaspoon of cumin, ground cumin powder, a teaspoon of coriander powder, and this, my darlings, is ground fenugreek seeds. Give that a stir. It smells really good. I mean, gosh, you could actually eat this as it is. Add a bit of salt. You got yourself a little vegetarian curry. Now, we're going to move quickly. I'm going to add some water to this, just to cover it. Here we go. Shift this over here. Now, for the main event. More ghee. And into that will go a couple of these beautiful, oh, Kashmiri red chilies. Now, into that, I'm going to put my ginger and garlic paste. So now, into that, I'm going to add some tomato puree. That brings down the temperature. And now, my dry spices. Got a teaspoon of turmeric, a tablespoon of coriander powder, a tablespoon of cumin, chili now, I'm going to add a teaspoon and a bit. A couple of green chilies. Give that a stir. So, and now into that, add a bit of salt. And here I have 750 grams of boneless chicken thigh. I'm going to pop that in, it's clean and washed. Crank up the heat. While that's happening, my base is done. I've turned that off and now I'm just going to transfer all of this into my blender because we're going to puree it. And here she goes. Oh, that smells lovely. Right, that's nicely pureed. I'm going to pour this into my chicken. 
I'm only going to use half of it, but I'll keep that for another curry for another day. Just stick it in the fridge. It'll keep for about three or four days, or in the freezer for three months. I don't think it will leave it for that long. Now, turn the hob on, on high. Right, here I have my homemade madras curry powder. Now, this is a combination of dry roasted star anise, bay leaves, coriander seeds, mustard seeds, peppercorns, cumin, Kashmiri chilies, uh, mustard seeds, fenugreek seeds. There's a lot of goodies in there. You dry roast each spice individually and then you grind it and you get this beautiful masala. I've added two tablespoons into this. It's a little less spicy than Jalfrezi. It's a madras. So I'm just going to add a little bit of water, just so that the chicken cooks. But you don't want it to be watery. It will cook down to make a thickish sort of base. That's it, guys. My chicken is done. All right, I'm just going to finish it off with some coriander. Lots of it. No garam masala, because there's a lot of masala going on with this. Give it a little stir. And we're ready to serve. And there you have it, guys. This is British restaurant style chicken madras curry. It smells amazing. I'll tell you what, this is what you call winner winner chicken dinner. Enjoy.